Hi there! Or maybe this is still the same video, or maybe you skipped the first part. Anyway, if you've arrived at this point, uh, I expect you to have a Domotic server up and running, and we're going to attach a Quinn LED module to it. First thing to do is to basically test if your Queen module is correctly connected to Wi-Fi and if your server can send it commands directly without using Demotics. So to do that, you need to know its IP and you need to put in a command, command into the command line. So in my case, we're saying echo fade timer is 2500. So I want the fade to whatever value to take two and a half seconds. And then LED one, uh, my LED strips connected to channel one, target five. Well, target five is not really sensible. So let's uh, try 500, shall we? Then we say pipe it to Nepcat, which I used to do the socket connection. Wait two seconds maximum, and then do it to this IP and this port. So let me move the camera real quick so you can watch me while I run this command. There we go. Okay, that should be on the screen right now, including this terminal session. So let's hit enter. And there we go. It glows up nicely. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's play around with it a little bit. Value 50. There we go. And let's say it has to take 9,000, so 9 seconds, and go to value 0, basically turning it off. Seems like nothing is happening, but it is. Hmm. Those last steps were kind of big. Okay, then let's say it has to go to value 1023, that's the maximum value, and it also has to take 9 seconds. Sorry if, it's, if this gets very bright. Holy shit! Yeah, that works. Let's uh, get it back to zero. Okay, so uh, let me put you back in the spot. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so we've confirmed that on command line we can uh, control the dimmer. So that's working. Um, okay, so let's go to Demotics and let's configure it. I don't know why this is still here. Okay, that, now it's gone. Um, first, we need to set up some hardware. So we need to make a hardware device, which is going to be a dummy device, on to which we attach um, Quinn LED modules, basically. So let's say uh, we want to create a device called Quinn LED. The type is dummy, does nothing, used for virtual switches only, that's correct, and the data timeout is disabled, that's fine, just leave it default. Okay, so now we have a Quinn LED, and it's a dummy. Basically, we're done here, uh, we don't need to do anything under devices, we can directly go to switches. So, let's do that. In switches, click on manual light switch. There you have to select the correct hardware. And if you're doing more with Demotics than it's just this, there will be more there. Uh, but in my case, there's just Queen LED. So let's select that. And uh, let's call this dimmer test dimmer. As you see, I've done some tests before. Um, okay, the type is dimmer. Uh, the switch type is dimmer. And then the type is uh, Lightwave RF. 
and I'm looking at maybe changing this in the future, but this dimmer gives us 32 positions, which is mostly enough. And then for the ID, uh, we basically need to set something unique. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just I mostly select something random and the, the chance that you select the same value twice is very, sl very slim. Okay, add the device. And now we have a device. So we can slide it about and nothing happens. That's because we still need to set the script or create a script in the demotics directories. So if we look at the log, it sees that we uh, played with the switch, but as there's no script connected, nothing happens. So let's set up the script. Okay, so on command line, we installed demotics into opt demotics. And just to be sure, let's become the demotics user. Okay, then there's a directory called script or scripts actually, and a directory called Lua. And there's some example files in there. We're not going to be using those. We're going to create a new file called script underscore device underscore the name of the switch we made. And that was test dimmer with capital T and capital D. So test dimmer dot Lua. Okay. Then again, check the website for all the code. We're going to paste in the code from the website. And there we have it. Now there's a few files you need to uh, fill in. Let me remove some enters here. There we go. So it needs to know the IP number. Well, we have that. That's no problem. Okay, that didn't work. That's better. And then we need to tell it which LED LED channel to use. So in our case, that's channel one. Last, also important, important, we need to fill in what the demotics device is called. So in our case, that's test dimmer. Okay. And here we can also set the wait time. That's the amount of time uh, Netcat waits before closing the connection, basically. Mostly one second is enough. Sometimes you need two seconds. And the, the fade time, uh, basically the amount of time um, the fade will take. So let's save that script. And well, let me move the camera again and let's live test if that worked. So the LED strip is still off from our previous attempt. So let's go to Demotics and let's basically move our slider to 12%. Hmm, nothing happens. Okay. Huh. It seems my script had an error in the in the log. Whenever something goes wrong, always check the log. So at line 30, there seems to be a mistake. I don't know how that happened, but let's see. Ah, okay. While pasting the script, it uh, basically cut off a line. So let's fix that real quick. And I did so over here too. Okay, that looks better. So let's save that again and let's uh, try again. Let's go back to switches. And there we have it. So let's go to the lowest setting. That's basically the off setting. And then let's try 3%. Okay. Let's try a bit higher. Let's try 40%. Okay, 
Uh, let's go all the way to 100%. And while it's doing that, you can still adjust the dimming time and the new command will just be sent to the module. And as you can see, it keeps following around. So even if it hasn't reached the dimmer we've set it to yet, you can well basically real time edit it to go to a different value and it'll do so. Okay. And well, that's basically it. Let me put you back uh, on the spot again. As I was saying, that's basically it. You now have a Quinn LED module that you can control from Domotics. So if you want to use the second channel on the module, you basically just make a new dimmer and create a new batch file, fill in the right details. So the dimmer name, same IP address, but different LED target channel. And then you can control the second channel independently. Both channels can be set to different values and dim at the same time to different values, etc. They're completely independent. And once you expand the system, you'll just get more and more switches, which go to all kinds of dimmers and they can be located anywhere in your house and you can centrally control it. So that basically ends this tutorial. As I said before, if you have any questions or get stuck while doing this, um, check the description below and also check the comments. Maybe someone else ran into this same problem. And if you have a question or comments, please let me know. So catch you next time. Bye-bye.